This is the Enjoy Your Eyeshadow Project created by Deb, where I am trying to work through all of my palettes, which I don't have a whole lot, so it's not a big work, um, and use each one, No Pan Left Behind, as well as rotating some Natasha Denona singles that I have received. So, stay tuned to see how I did this month. All right, this is Enjoy Your Eyeshadows or Eyes 2024 created by Deb B here on YouTube and I hope she's feeling well and comes back to visit us soon. I miss her face. Um, this is a project all about enjoying your eyeshadows. You can do it any way you see fit. Um, you are just to give a peek in a pit every month, which I feel like I, some, I often forget to do. Um, but um, you can, like I said, do this any way you want. You could do this, um, a pin that palette. Uh, I was doing looks every month. You could just randomly pick eyeshadows and talk about them. I'm trying to go through all the palettes I have in my collection at this time and use them, no pan left behind. So using each shade at least once. And I'm trying to rotate those out monthly. But I don't wear makeup that often so it's sometimes it takes me a little bit longer than one month i have eyelashes in my eye not in my eye but i can see them anyway so i'm currently working on four singles from natasha denona in this palette here these four there i also have the aether beauty moonlight crystal palette uh, make your own lethal cosmetics palette and this is what mine's looking like blues purple uh, teal purple and silver I have the BH cosmetics venom palette which is some grays and blacks and whites and then finally I'm working on a couple shades in my Marvy corn to um, one for usage and one to hit pan or usage I forget but I'm working on one in there. So those are the palettes I'm currently working on. Now, what was I able to meet my goal on for this month? Well, I have used three of the four shadows from Natasha Denona. Um, this is my brow shade, so I use that all the time and it's not part of this, but I have used this one once or twice. Um, I know I used it as a liner in my last video, and I think I also used it to darken up the outer corner in another look. Um, I've used this shade several times to set my um, eye primer as well as like a transition shade because I like to start with a, a nude shade. This one I have not used. This is a peach uh, shimmer or satin. Um, I have not had a chance to use that yet. I mean, peach is not a, a color I go for a lot. I prefer more colorful looks. And then finally, this blue on the end, I was, sorry for blinding you with the mirror, I was debating um, getting rid of it because of the formula. It's sort of one of those cream, I mean, it's very lovely. Um, it's a cream to powder formula, which I have not had much luck with in the past, but this one seems to perform fairly well. It, it is a bit of a stainer um, that I'm just, I'm just smearing it all over. Um, but I am wearing it today as a liner, and I thought that worked quite nicely. It is pigmented enough and um, well enough that you can use it as a liner. I have it on my upper lid as well as my lower lash line. So I'm going to be um, swapping out those three shades I have used. I will keep this peach one in for now. And then in the palettes um, for Lethal, uh, yeah, Lethal Beauty, Lethal Cosmetics, um, I have six shades and I was able to use all of them because I've made this palette in a way that it can be used. So today I'm wearing the teals here. I started with the base of the matte in the middle and then on the outer corner I have this dark shade here and the inner corner I have the light shade and a little bit of the dark shade in the inner corner, kind of doing 
sort of a halo eye sort of kind of try and maybe um so i was able to use those three together and then the top row i started i did a purple look a while back and i started with this on the lid and then the purple in the outer corner and the silver in the inner corner inner half and it was quite nice easy to use uh two looks and um you know maybe one of these days i'll swap it up and do a little purple and teal look but for now i used every shade in here and it is rolling out my aether beauty um this one is a little bit slow going i am i do have this in a project for using each shade five times and um i'll just tell you how many times i've used each shade so far so i have not used shade number one at all I'm trying to read this upside down and point to them at the same time shade two i've used three times shade three i've used once shade four i've used once this one uh five i've used once i six i've used once seven i have not used at all eight i've used once this is really hard to do upside down and backwards okay uh this one up here the top one that one i've used once i've used this one twice this one three times and this one once so the only shades i have not used in this palette at all are this green shimmer down here and then this one up here so i still have some uses to go on that i should try and figure out a look to use that but that is staying in um, next up is my Venom palette from BH Cosmetics, and this one I have used six of the nine shadows so far. It's another shot. It's another palette that is laid out well so that you can use shades in a look. Um, so I've used all three of the mattes. I have the white, the gray, and this is a dark purple. I used those all in one look, and then I topped them with the shimmers. I have this one here, which is called deadly bite it's a white with a blue shimmer i'll give you swatches of these and then the middle one is a silver called under the skin and the last one is called silent killer you may if you've been around for a while i used worked on that for a while in a project last year um, but those are the three shades and i did make a nice white and gray look a couple videos ago and this is what i wore and then i had this bluish one in the inner corner for a little pop of color so i have three more shades left to go on that palette and that should be not a problem um it's this one down here which is a white with a pink this is sort of a pinky purple and then this is sort of a blue black blackened blue shimmer very very beautiful very shimmery formulas um really love them so that is staying in and for my marvy corn i am still working on them um i am working on moana here for uses i believe i have two or three more uses left and then i have honey bobu up here um and i am working on it for uses i think and i have a few more uses left to go i'd also like to hit pan um but as you can see there is no pan in the shade so that is how the month went so far give me a second to wipe off these swatches pick out my new natasha denona shades and i will bring in a new palette to replace the lethal and then i'll share with you what i'm working on all right i am back and i have my natasha denona shades so i'll start with those so we are keeping this peach here I'm trying to hold this so i'm not going to blind you with either the packaging or the mirror um keeping the peach and that has moved over to complement that i brought in a matte peach that will hopefully encourage me to use that shade a little bit more and to go with that i thought it'd be nice to bring in this sort of burgundy shade i 
think that it'd be a very nice color. And then this one on the end, I think is a duochrome because you see brown, but I look at it and I see burgundy. So let me see if we can, there you go. You can see it turns kind of a red to it, a deep red. So that's interesting. When I grabbed it, I didn't know that's what it was, but as I move it, you can see it does have that red to it. So that will complement that as well. I was thinking I was just grabbing a brown. Get a swatch of that. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Okay, that is definitely more of a red. Let's see what this other one looks like. That's gorgeous. Okay, those are gonna be beautiful. So the top one's sort of an orangey red with a copper, and then the other one with like a pink. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I like red. I like dark red, so it's going to be nice. Let me see how that peach. Oh, okay. Yeah, totally perfect shades. Perfect. This this is going to be a one and done look right here. I think so. Um, and I did bring, I do have three shimmers in instead of two mattes and two shimmers because I seem to have this size. Anyway, there are more shimmers than there are mattes. So bringing those in and then going in the opposite direction on the color wheel, I'm bringing in the uh, Revolution um, Chilled Palette. And this is greens and browns. So I have used this one in the past briefly, but I don't think I've used every shade. Now I will say there are uh, a couple, yes, couple pressed glitters. Um, I believe this one, this one definitely, and I think this one are pressed glitters. I will not use those on my face, but I may see about using them on my nails. Um, but I'm not going to count them in my no pen left behind. But yeah, I'm not a fan of pressed glitter. I think those are double checking. Well, I see they are marked as something, but I don't see what they are marked as. It's probably on the other side of the label. Anyway, so I'm guessing those are the pressed glitters, but every other shade in here is up for fair game. So that is what I'm bringing in. So we've got the Revolution, my Natasha Denona's, the Aether, the Venom, and the Marbicorn. So there we go. Those are the palettes I'm going to be working on for the next month. Um, I do tend to rotate each one and try and, you know, use as many shades from each one as possible. So we'll see how it goes. If I can complete, I should be able to complete this one. We'll see if I can finish my uses on the Marbicorn Corn because this one's been in, I think, since the beginning of the year. Or at least it's been in on and off, if not steadily. But it was my Pan That palette a couple years ago, so I'm kind of hoping to make more progress. And then the rest of these are just, you know, going to be here. This one's probably going to be here for a while because I have to use each one five times. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, until my next video, take care of yourselves. Stay true to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.